What's going on, everybody? Samuel Sims here. Uh, yep, the iPad guy. Wanted to talk to you today about using Sample Tank and creating your own layer combinations in Sample Tank. Um, it's for me again trying to maximize the iPad. I wanted to see how many different things I can add together and make one uh, patch. As you know, I use my BS16i app uh, with the MKS sounds uh, to that I purchased from Precision Sounds for the MKS sounds, and then I use Sample Tank for my layers, but uh, up until this point, I've only used one sound uh, for my layers. I layer strings on it, I layer brass, or I layer guitar. Well, I uh, kept playing around with it, and I now can layer three sounds along with the uh, BS16i app. So I have four different sounds that I can layer, and on top of that, I can play the bass. So if you see here, I have in uh, section A, there's a bass guitar. I have that on channel five. Uh, in section B, I have some strings. I have that on channel three. Section two, I have, oh, I'm sorry, section C, I have that on MIDI channel two. I have a, a pad there. And then on channel four, section D, I ha have that on channel four with a music box. So, start off just playing. Uh, I have my buddy Trey Mack here playing the keys. He's going to start off playing MKS. And then he's going to bring in uh, slowly some of the layers. Go ahead, Trey. That's the pad. The strings and the pad layered together. All right, go ahead and bring the third one in. That's the music box. So four sounds, a four sound layer has been created. Oh, four sounds. Then up top you got bass guitar. Now, so I've created the layer. What I've done on, on, on the M-Audio, and I'll do another video, there's a way where M-Audio has zones. So I've activated all four zones on the M-Audio. Each zone responds to a MIDI channel, MIDI channel one, two, three, and four. I also took it, and on the M-Audio, you can reassign the volume, or reassign the slider. So I changed each one of the sliders to uh, the corresponding MIDI channel, and um, that's how I'm able to slide in and out. Of, of my layers and layer anything. Let me show you another layer. That's one I use for worship. Another layer I have here, uh, gonna be this one. All right, same thing. Go ahead, Troy. So again, we got piano. Ten, one. So that's a that's a synthesizer. All right, bring in the other one. That's brass. Then you got another synthesizer. And, it's, and also, I still have a bass up top. So again, I've done it with sliders. Even if you don't use sliders, you can leave all of your layers on one channel, and what will happen is that you'll just get you know your volume for all of it for your MKS sounds and for whatever you have set up on the same MIDI channel is all going to increase. It will still work. So what I encourage you to do is just to try out the different sounds, put together as many patches as you can, and uh, to see what you come up with. One more thing I'll show you, the way that you get all patches to play at the same time is that you simply have to hit all four patches at the same time. If you hit them all at the same time, they should all come on. That takes some, takes some work. Probably want to use two hands. But once you do that, then you can save your patch. If you go to preset here, you can save your patch in a number. So 
you hold down the number, and it'll blink, and it's saved. So now all you have to do is just hit that, and it's going to bring up the patch that you have saved. Experiment with different sounds. Like I said, that's what I've done. Uh, again, I've purchased all of the uh, sample packs that they own or that they provide on Sample Tank just so I can have different sounds. I am using an iPad Air 2. Uh, the two gigabytes of RAM definitely helps a lot. But one iPad is giving me five different sounds. One iPad, five different sounds. Uh, so I hope you like this video.